Hey, my name is Dakota Crawford, and this game is called Cert and Score, and it is for grades 3 through 5. The equipment needed for Serve and Score is beach balls, noodle slices, poly pots, comb, and maybe even gator balls. It's according to what you want to use. To set up the game, the students will be divided into two different teams. Each team will be placed on opposite on one side of the net. So the green team is on one side and the yellow team is on the other side and this picture and the blue represents the net. The gray dots in the picture represents the boundaries. And so for this game, they will stand behind the baseline on either side. In the game the students will one at a time be serving the ball over the net. They will go up to the poly spot and they will serve from there. The students should not go past the boundary lines until all the balls are served and it is their turn to serve. They are trying to get the balls to stay inside the boundary lines. What they will do is count the number of balls that are inside the lines. If there are five or more balls inside the boundary lines, the team will go collect one noodle slice and place it in their bucket on their side of the court. At the end of the game, the team with the most noodle slices are the winners. There are several different ways you can modify this game. If, it seems, if you see that the students are having a hard time scoring or serving the ball, we will stop and go back over the proper way to serve and first off you probably want to start with a beach ball because it's I mean it's a good practice a good way to teach them how to serve the ball correctly if you see they're still not understanding how to serve you could just stop and go into like pair them up two on two and just let them serve the, the ball back and forth without having a net if you see that it's too far away from the net and they're having a hard time that because of that reason, you could always move the poly spots in closer. If you see it's too easy, you can move them further away. And as far as skill cues, you need to make sure you're, you're teaching them the proper way to serve the ball, the proper way to hold it, the way their arms should be when it comes around, um, the way they should step, transferring their weight, Keeping eye contact with the object, with the ball, the beach ball, or whatever they're using. Um, these are my sources. And thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this game.